students whatever homework is given to you you have to submit it on the very next day between 8 am to 1 pm to the given whatsapp number and it is compulsory to submit your homework as your attendance will be marked on the basis of your submission hello students today we will start with chapter 3 the climate of india first we will learn and see the new words so that it will be easy for you to understand and write the same in your notebook number 1 climate c l i c l a m a t e mat climate climate means the weather conditions prevailing in an area over a long period climate ka matlab hindi mein hota hai jalwayu number 2 weather w e a v t h e r the weather weather means the state of atmosphere at a particular place weather ka matlab hota hai mausam number 3 atmospheric a t a t m o m s p h e s p r i c r i c atmospheric atmospheric means relating to the atmosphere of the earth atmospheric ka matlab hota hai vayumandaliya number 4 equator e e q u k a a t o r t e r equator equator means a corresponding line on a planet equator ka matlab hota hai bhumudaya rekha number 5 coastal c o c o a s s c o s t a t e r l l coastal means area of or near a coast number 6 southern s o u s o u d h e r n d e r n southern southern means situated in the south side southern ka matlab hota hai dakshin number 7 pleasant p l e a p l e s a n t z e n t pleasant pleasant means likable or enjoyable pleasant ka matlab hota hai suhani number 8 moisture m o i s moist t u r e t u r moisture moisture means substance including water moisture ka matlab hota hai nami number 9 arabian a a r a j b i b a n an arabian arabian is a name of a sea arabian means arab number 10 atom a u o t u m n tum autumn autumn is the season after summer and before winter in this the trees shed their leaves ऑटम का मतलब होता है पतझड़ लेट्स रिवाइज क्लाइमेट वेदर एटमोस्फेयरिक इक्वेटर कोस्टल सदन प्लीजेंट मॉइस्चर अरेबियन ऑटम Chapter 3 The Climate of India India is a vast country with different physical features like mountains valleys plateaus plains etc These land features play a great role in determining the climate of a place When we say it is cold today or it is hot today we are talking about weather Weather describes the atmospheric conditions of a particular day in a particular place at a particular time but when we say it is very hot in thar desert or it is very humid in chennai we are talking about climate the climate of a place is the regular pattern of weather conditions over a long period of time the clothes we wear and the food we eat depends largely upon the climate of the place where we live the climate of a place mainly depends upon the following factors one distance of a place from the equator 
decides what type of climate the place will have. The places near the equator have hot climate and the places farther away from the equator enjoy cool climate. 2. Height of a place from the sea level also determines the climate of that place. For example, Shimla is cooler than Delhi. 3. Distance from the sea affects the climate of the place. The coastal plains are neither too hot nor too cold because of the winds from the sea. Our country has three main seasons, winter, summer and monsoon. Some parts of India have two more seasons, spring and autumn. Winter season The winter season begins from the middle of November and continues till February. January is the coldest month. There is heavy snowfall in the Himalayas. As a result, it becomes very cold in the hilly regions. But the cold decreases as we go towards the southern part of India. During the winter months, the nights are longer than the days. Major parts of India remain dry during the winter months, with the exception of Tamil Nadu, which gets heavy rainfall during this time. After the winter month of February, the weather becomes pleasant as it is neither too hot nor too cold. Plants generally bear new leaves and flowers. This is the spring season. Summer season the summer season begins from the middle of March and lasts till June. In the northern plains, hot dry winds called Lu blow. Dust storms are common. The sun is very hot and days are longer than nights. In the southern part of India, it is comparatively less hot due to the cool sea breeze from the sea. Some areas receive heavy rainfall towards the end of summer. Hilly areas have pleasant climate. That is why people from plains visit these areas during summer holidays. Mangoes are the main attraction of the summer season. More to know. Mango shower is the name given to the rain which occurs in Kerala as these showers are good for the production of mangoes. Monsoon season. The monsoon season starts in June and continues till the month of September. During this season, the monsoon winds carrying moisture blow towards the land from the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. Some parts of India like western coast and the northeastern states get heavy rainfall. Mosindram in Meghalaya receives highest rainfall in India. The average rainfall in our country is about 120 centimeters. Some areas like Rajasthan and Gujarat receive less rainfall. The coast of Tamil Nadu remains dry from June to September. Here, they receive rain in the months of November and January. After the monsoon, the weather becomes cooler and pleasant. Most of the trees shed their leaves. This is the autumn season. Now I know. India's climate varies from place to place due to its different land features. There are three main seasons in India. Winter, summer and monsoon. The winter season is from November to February. The summer season is from mid-March to June. The monsoon season is from July to September.